Turning to election 2024 with the election day less than a month away. It's time for Illinois residents to prepare for what's going to be on the ballot. Now this includes three advisory questions all residents need to answer. Fox Illinois Carolina Hassett breaks down what each of these questions mean. Before casting their ballots, Illinoisans are going to have to answer three questions. Now, the purpose of this is for lawmakers to see what kind of change they want in the state of Illinois. Three advisory questions will be included in this year's Illinois ballot. The first question says, quote, should any candidate appearing on the Illinois ballot for federal, state, or local office be subject to civil penalties if the candidate interferes or attempts to interfere with an election worker's official duties? This is referring to past harassment elected officials and election workers have received in the past. Should the laws be stronger to protect election authorities. This would give someone the ability to sue if personal harm or distress was given to an elected official or election worker. The second question is, quote, should the Illinois Constitution be amended to create an additional 3% tax on income greater than $1 million for the purpose of dedicating funds raised to property tax relief? The purpose of this is to have taxpayers receive more money back from the government when it comes to their property taxes. This means that less of a person's income will go towards property taxes. However, former political science professor Kent Redfield says the true question will be who this will target. Are the people that pay the most property tax is going to get the most relief or can you target it to middle class? The last question says, quote, should all medically appropriate assisted reproductive treatments, including but not limited to in vitro fertilization, be covered by any health insurance plan in Illinois that provides coverage for pregnancy benefits without limitation on the number of treatments? This is working to make sure all IVF treatments are covered by health insurance in Illinois. You offer uh, pregnancy related benefits that you would also have to include these kinds of benefits. Redfield says it's important to know that these questions are not laws and will not go into effect after the election is over. Nothing becomes law unless the General Assembly were to pass a bill and the governor would sign it. Redfield says that Democratic lawmakers vote on which questions they want on the ballots. And while Republicans can have a say, Democrats control both houses of the General Assembly and usually get enough votes to put certain questions on the ballot. In Springfield, I'm Carolina Hassett. Back to you. Thanks, Carolina. Redfield added that lawmakers also use the questions to help drive voter turnout and motivate more people to get to the polls. And you can use the QR code on your screen right now to register to vote or to check your registration status. The last day to register online is October 20th. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.